Hello, good evening, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. How is everybody doing tonight? Hope you're all well. Hope you've had a good start to the week. So we have a brand new game to play this evening, but what is that going to be? We're going to be playing Horrified American Monsters from Ravensburg. Yes, we played Horrified Universal Monsters a few weeks ago and thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. So we are back for the sequel. This time we are facing the cryptids of America. <laughs> and as Sarah says, let's drag around some innocent people. Indeed, let's do that. I take it you're all set and ready to join me, Sarah. Uh, good evening to Lornor and to Mystical Unicorn Painting who are watching. Thank you very much for joining us. All right, Sarah, let's bring you on in. Hello, Sarah. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Excellent. Okay, are we ready to save this town from this uh, monster infestation? Yes, I'm also interested to learn what the little green figure is, because I don't know that monster. Oh, okay. Okay, well, we, we will. what we'll do is we'll play the game and then we'll go through uh, all of the okay. monsters, because, of course, we have two set up ready to go. So let's jump to the table. All right, so here we go. This is the town of Cross Creek, which has... Uh, basically been attracting various monsters from America. Uh, we are going to be facing off against two monsters. The Banshee of the Badlands and... Let's get this right. Ch Chupa... Chupacabra... Chupacabra? We practice this. <laughs> Chupacabra. Chupaca... Chupa... Chupa... Chupacabra. Bruh. Don't think about it as much as you're thinking about it. Chupacabra. Chup chupacabra. There we go. Hey! <laughs> Didn't ruin that name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chupor cor Corbra. Chup Chupor Corbra. Okay, I can say that. Chupor Corbra. <laughs> chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, so, yes, those two monsters are basically plaguing the sleepy town of Cross Creek. We have the Banshee in this cemetery just down at the bottom here. And conveniently enough, uh, Chupa, that's his new name, Chupa, is, <laughs> is in the farm just next door. So that's convenient. Now, what do we need to do to defeat these monsters? Because that's the important part. So, with the Banshee, uh, each monster has its sort of monster mat just here, and that gives us the conditions that we need to meet uh, to be able to defeat them. So, for the Banshee, basically what we've got to do is we have got to... Uh, the Banshee is basically luring us with ghostly music and her wails because she has a violinist, a skeletal violin violinist. And if we fail her attacks, basically we get pushed to the point of where we are mesmerized by this music uh, and we basically get led to our deaths. Uh, the flip side to that is if we can move our... Um, marker into a safe zone. Once we get there, both of us being in that safe zone, we are then able to enter the same space as the Banshee and use, I believe it is, two yellow items. Is it two yellow so it's items? It essentially plays the same as the last one, correct? Oh gosh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, the game mechanics are exactly the same as Horrified. What is different, of course, is the actual monsters. So let's just do double check here. Uh, okay, to defeat the Banshee, an investigator must be at the same location as the Banshee and spend two yellow items to ignore her whale. 
the item's strength do not matter. So all it'll be a case of is being in the same location as the Banshee and having two yellow items. Remember we pick up items, or have the option to do so whenever we go around the town. Uh, now, this is the important part with the Banshee. So every time she attacks, so that's whenever we get... Let me just double check. It is going to be, yes, the power attack. So the... Hopefully you can see clearly enough there. The little explosion. So whenever that happens on her uh, dice rolls, uh, she will be moving markers. We'll, I'll just place a marker here so you can see. A little violin marker will be placed there. And basically there is one, two, three, four spaces. So in other words, if we take four hits, we are dead. We then, of course, come back in the hospital and, and carry on. But what we're able to do is... We, uh, when an investigator is at the same location as the Banshee, they may spend a brown item to roll one die, or a yellow item to roll two die. And then for each hit or power icon shown, move the player's violin back two spaces, uh, back towards the treble clef. So what we're trying to do is get our little icon into the safe zone. Once we are both in the safe zone, we can then use two yellow items to basically defeat the Banshee. So that's not, the Banshee's not too difficult, but the thing is, she's going to be attacking us pretty much all the time. All right. Uh, Chupa. Chupa's a little bit easier. Chupa, basically, we have got to save goats. And there are various goats dotted around on the board. <laughs> goats are brown items. Uh, there's a goat here, there's a goat here, there's one here, and there's one just down here. And all we need to do is pick up a goat and take the goat to the farm and then use our advance action to basically put the goat onto the board. Once we have collected six goats, then all we need to do is go in the same space as Chupa and basically use yellow items with a value of up to six or more, and that will defeat him. So that's basically it. That's not too difficult, is it? Right. No, oh, we can do that. Do you want me to go through how the game plays, just in case, uh, just a, as a bit of a reminder? I mean... What is really handy, let's just go to this screen here, is there is a fantastic little reference card. So basically it's the investigator's phase first, and depending on your character you can do any number of these actions, and you can do those actions multiple times. So what are the actions? Well, basically move. You can move to an adjacent location, taking any number of citizens with you. Or you can guide, guide one citizen to or from an adjacent location. Pick up, pick up any number of items in your location. Share items, so we need to obviously both be in the same location to pass items to one another. Advance, so this is be able to use an item to advance the challenge of killing one of the monsters. Uh, defeat is much the same, uh, but of course using... Uh, your items to actually defeat the monster and then of course you have the special action that is on your player card So once you've done however many actions you are allowed to do depending on your character we then go to The monster phase So at the top of the monster card there will be potentially a number That's the number of items that we draw from the bag and place onto the board we then have an event to resolve, uh, whatever that might be, we just follow the instructions. And then the monster strike. This will give us instructions as to which monsters are actually moving and which monsters are attacking. And they attack depending on their individual rules. But we will uh, we'll deal with that when we face it. And that is basically it. So, as we said, we have played Horrified before. Uh, it is exactly the same, just with a different setting and with different characters and with different monsters. 
So, shall we find out who we are going to play as? I do have our uh, our character cards here for the Federal Bureau of Paranormal Investigation. Uh, there are six characters. Do you want to pick a number? Is it six? Hang on. No, it's seven. But uh, one to seven. Pick a number. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That is you. I am going to go with... Well, I'm going to go with that one. All right, let's find out who you are. You are the journalist. So you have no special actions, but you are able to do five actions. So I think you're probably able to do slightly more. See, if you would have just said go on color, I would have said purple, but here we are. Well, okay, let's let's see. Let's see <laughs> what what which one I am. Oh. And then we trade. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, I've got dashing red hair, so I don't know if I want to give this up. Uh, I'm the scout. So I only get to do four actions. Uh, special ability, move any investigator or citizen one location. I'll stay as the scout. Do you want to choose a different one? Because there Would is a... Would I get five actions? You get five actions, so you get slightly more. But of course it's so five... technically my perk is one extra action. Ex exactly, yes. So you, if you want to be purple, you could be a cryptozoologist. No... No? Is that not doing it for you? Or no. the or this the the agent? I like Oh excuse me, I like how the cards look like they came out of a notebook. They are cool, aren't they? Uh you could be the mountain man. <laughs> oh see now that that previous one is pretty good. Oh the agent, yeah. Yeah, didn't I have that power last time? Uh Add one to the strength of any item you use. Ability is always in effect and doesn't take an action. Yeah, that's actually a really powerful. Uh... Yeah, that would be the one that I would I would consider doing. Would you? <laughs> I would, would give would up you? that free move for that one, probably. Uh, the psychic. Place your investigator on any location with another investigator. Oh, see, that one's good too. But see, the one that I have, even though it doesn't have any special abilities, that fifth action is actually a really good one. Could be really useful. And then, of course, in this sleepy town, you've got to have the jock, haven't you? Ooh, pick up items from an adjacent location. Yeah, you see, you see. Oh, no, that one's really good too. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. so I think it would be between him, the agent, or the extra move. So what, what are you going to do? You're going to have to pick one. Oh, boy. Mm. Mystical saying keep the one you have, because five basic actions might be better than having an extra special action. All right. I'll keep the one I have. Re rem remember, remember... To actually use the special action does take an action to use it, doesn't it? Yeah. So you're gonna keep the you're gonna keep the one you have. Okay, so you get five actions in total. Uh yeah, go on, I'll I'll stay with what? The one I I went got the scout. I'll stay. Of course you're keeping your red hair. I want my red hair, yeah. So basically Because uh, that could actually be six movements altogether for me. Six movements? How do you... How yeah, because you... if we think of our last game, we realized that, oh, wait, this oh, is yes. a team effort. Yes, And yes, you yes. were like, cool, in order for us to win this game, you need to move here, here, and here, and you would move me that one extra, and then we'd get around. And if we had that many more movements, I, there you that, go. this could be good. So the journalist starts in the tavern. Where's the tavern? Oh, there's the tavern. So... Uh, I haven't put the characters on their little standees just to make it easy for us to be able to see them from this top-down view. Thank you. Uh, the, the, oh, here we go. Well, the scout starts in the campground. 
which is very convenient then because there are items just there. All right, so then of course we do both get a perk card. So let's take a look what we have. I'll take my one here and your one. Uh, and let's just take a look. We get new perk cards by defeating a monster or? Uh, or I... saving a person. It's saving a put, I think. I'll double check in a yeah. second. So here we go. Choose one. Place the Ozark Howler at any location or move any monster free locations. So you're able to move a monster free locations because we don't have the Ozark Howler in the game. All right. So that's a basically, yes, move a monster free locations. So that's pretty good. All right. So that's what you have. So I guess uh, that's what the green character would have been is the Ozark Howler. I, th I think you might be right, yes. Uh, here we go, and then this one here, choose one place, Mothman at any location, no, so or move any most monster free location, so again, exactly the same as you. Alright, so those our those are our perks, we can use them at any time during our turn. Alright, let me just double check then. To see how we obtain new cards, just in case I have forgotten. Oh, actually, I think it is where when we do a monster card. Let me just quickly look. Uh... Nope, I think you're right, isn't it? It's when you return a citizen to their location. Let's just double check on that. I think that is the case. Citizens. Yes, players can earn additional perk cards by getting their citizens to their safe locations. All right, there you go. Right, I think we are all good, set and ready to play. Do you want to start first? Okay, so what does the card oh. in the blue with the blue guy say? The card with the blue guy. Sorry, which one are you? There's a blue monster and oh. there's a card in there. Yes, yes. So that's for uh, Chupa. So basically it's the instructions that you have to, to uh, defeat Chupa. You've got to collect six goats and bring the goats to the farm. You can only bring... Or, or, or do it per your t one turn, bring a goat in. So, so for example, you came to the farm, you had two goats, but you had three actions. You can place a goat down once, but you cannot then place a second goat down. You would have to finish your turn and wait until it's your next turn to put another goat down. All right? So it does delay you from being able to do it all in one go if you went around and collected every single goat on the board. Okay, well then I know that I'm going to move into the middle square and collect that stuff. Okay, so uh, first of all, so you've got five actions. So that's a move of one, and it's collecting a compass and some binoculars. That's two. What are you going to do next? Um... I'm going to go three, four, five up to the left goat and collect the goat. In the cabin, is that? So three, four, five. You can get to the cabin, but you can't collect it. Oh, that's right. It's five, not six. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. So that is the end of your turn. It then goes to the monster phase. Let's have a look. Uh, this is... Well, Mothman, place the eye of the Mothman token at your location. Well, Mothman's not in play, so we don't need to worry about that. But we do now need to uh, see who moves. Bigfoot, no. The Banshee of the Badlands. The Banshee moves. So the Banshee moves one. Uh, the Banshee is going to move towards the closest uh, player. So basically she's coming out of the cemetery. 
uh, into the town centre. And then she's going to roll three dice. Okay, let's see. And we'll just double check now to make sure we get in the swing of this. So, for each power symbol rolled, the Banshee attacks uh, move all the violins one space. So, what is the power? Nope, there's no power symbols. The power symbol is the exclamation mark. So that's good. So we've managed to avoid that attack. Uh, oh, but first of all, sorry. Should have taken out two items out of the bag. So grab two items, one, two. Let's see what we got. We have a camera being placed in the resort. And we have a fishing pole in the tavern. Tavern, tavern, tavern. Where's the tavern? It was where... There we go. Just there. All right. So that does that monster card. Right. Movies out the way. Uh, over to me. So I am going to collect up a goat and a pickaxe. It's one action. I'm going to... Well, I feel it'd be wrong to take your goat, wouldn't it? So I'm going to go... <laughs> that's one. That's two, three, four, to the motel where I can pick up a pistol. Uh, okay, that is my turn. So a new monster card. Ah, let's uh, go and take a look at this. First of all, well, let's just explain a monster card. So, first of all, we're going to put down three items onto the board. And then we have our first citizen, the recluse. So, Mr. Cash is at the mansion. And then it is going to be the Banshee who moves again, as indicated by the fire symbol. Uh on the bottom. She's going to move one space and she's going to roll two dice. All right, let's sort that out. So first of all, three items. Uh, there we go. Three. Off we got. A walkie-talkie at the rangers station. Ah, at the top there. A knife at the gas station. That Just seems there. legit. I, I was just going to ask, you know, so how realistic is this game as far as a, and a horse in the mansion? Okay. Um, so, we've got our items. We now need to put Mr. Cash down. Where is he? There he is. And he is at the mansion, and he needs to get to the hospital. The hospital's just down here. All right, he's up at the mansion. We need to get him to the hospital. But we now do have the Banshee, and the Banshee's going to go the quickest way. Banshee's going to go up to the city hall, roll two dice. We don't want exclamations, and we don't get any, so that's good. All right, over to you, Sarah. All right. Let's see here. Well, I'm going to pick up the donkey. It's not a donkey, it's a goat. Okay, a goat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one. I have yep. three left. Four left. Four left. Four, four. Okay. Now, just, to, just as a reminder, to defeat the Banshee, you need to uh, be in the same space and use a yellow item. So use a brown item to roll one dice. Use a yellow item to roll two dice. 
Uh, for each, then I would be using up my goat, and we need that goat. Yes, we do. So each hit or power. So in other words, every time you roll an exclamation or the sort of starburst hit, you get to move any player's violin back two spaces. So ultimately, you need to come on into the same space as the banshee. Use either a brown or a yellow item, roll the dice, and then hopefully get a hit to move the violin back into the safe zone. Once you do that, it's using a two yellow items. Is it? Yeah. Yes, use two yellow items of any kind and you defeat her. She's relatively easy to do. But we need to pick up the items first. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, mystical. So I do... can't go from the top right there. I can't go over to the next one. I'd have to go all the way around. A little. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no easy shortcut around here. Because I can go and pick up that knife at the gas station. You can. So you've done one. You could go two. You could three and four with picking up the knife. Mm. And five would potentially get you to the diner. Right, let's do that. Okay, so you've done one. You're going to move two. You're going to move three. You're going to pick up the knife, four. And you're going to move five. It does put you near, but hey, you know, maybe you'll be okay. Uh, and of course, you've got items to basically repel the attack should the Banshee obviously land on your space. So it's okay. Uh, right, so that's your turn. We draw up a new monster card. So there are no items going out on the board. Uh, replace any empty trail spot with a new face down tracker token. So we don't have to deal with this because this is for the Ozark Howler. So again, it's basically the Banshee that's moving. The Banshee is going to move one space. Well, it's one, two, or it's one, two. Uh, it's up to you. Which direction do you want the Banshee to go in? Because you're the active player. I mean, it's coming at me no matter what. It is, but do you want it to come to f via the tavern or via the gas station? Gas station. All right. There we go. And we roll two die. Oh! Man, I should have my turn. What, sorry? I should have used my special card on my turn instead of moving that last space and move the monster three instead. Like I forgot about it. Yeah, we've. I mean, we've done a dice roll now. That would be just incom. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We've done a dice roll. We've got. We've got to stick with it. So basically, we have the uh, the power icon. Let's just double check here. For each power symbol roll, when the banshee attacks, move all violin tokens one space closer to the skeleton. All of them. So all of these, they move the two of us. We are hearing this cr creepy violin music. We're being lured to our deaths. Okay, not good. We're going to have to deal with her. Uh, all right, so that's that. If we're finding knives in the gas station, we're probably hearing more creepy fiddle music than violin. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's a shotgun down in the uh, the bait shop, so that's that's pretty good. So, uh, we might want to consider that. Okay, so I have four actions. I could... Well, here you go. I'm going to pick up the pistol for one. I'm going to use my special ability to move you, because that's what we didn't do last time until right at the end, yeah? So I'm going to move you... Move any investigator or citizen one location. So that's two. And I'm also going to move the citizen three. And I'm going to move myself down four. So I think I've made it harder for the Banshee now. Uh, and hopefully more helpful for you. 
Um, because you can now just pick everything up, can't you? Because I don't think we need a horse's head just yet. Uh, okay. And I could... I could move... the Banshee... Oh, should, should, should we do that? Should we move the Banshee? This early in the game? I mean... What, with like one of your turns? I, well, I can use my special ability, can't I? So I can go one, two... I could move the Banshee all the way up to the, into the campground. It's just basically putting that monster away from us. I mean, that would probably be good. Yeah, because then we've got a little bit of, of... a little bit of breathing room, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to use my special ability and move her three. One, two, three. So there you go. She's all the way over there now. All right. That's the end of my turn. Take a card. It's the farmer, Josie. Uh, Josie is in the farm. And Josie needs to get to the swimming hole. Oh my gosh, Josie's right. Josie might be in trouble. <laughs> Josie's in serious trouble. But there is three items. Keep on forgetting to do the items. Uh, one, two, three. Is that one, two, three? Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, so what do we have? We have a bear trap. What does trap. the bag look like? Hang on, bear trap in the cabin. Poison in the bait shop. A knife in the tavern. This is a really rough town. Uh, so the bag, there you go, it's uh, it's hard to describe what type of material it is. It's kind of like a plastic material with oh, a, vel cool. a Velcro tab, and we have a we have the uh, sort of silhouette of Cross Creek. Yeah, which is all unique. We've got the banshee really on nice one side. Bag. Yeah, it actually has all the monsters depicted across the bag, which is quite cool. Okay, so. Josie is there. It is the Banshee who's going to get to move. Banshee gets to move one. So, ooh, down here. And rolling two dice. Now, who does this... The guy that's with me wants to go where? Uh, he, Mr. Cash, wants to go to the hospital just down here. Now, when I collect the items, does he count in that action or is he a separate action? Uh, or they just follow you? No, they just follow you now. So okay. it's okay. So when you move, he will move with you. Okay. okay. So we didn't have to do anything there, which is good. Uh, it is now over to you. So I'm assuming you're collecting up those items straight away, yeah? Yes. Okay. You've got a walkie-talkie and you've got so a you goat. Want to go... You want to go to the hospital, which is down here. So it's going to be for you. Okay. One, two, three. And effectively, in fact, we've just done one, so that's two, that's yeah, three, so I can go that's two, four. three, pick up, move into the hospital. Yes. And yeah, let's do it, because then I get an extra card. Indeed. So one, that's now two, that's three, that's four. You've got him to the hospital. He's happy. Done. But I picked up that stuff on the way, I thought. Oh, you don't, yeah, yes, okay, you can do You can get those stuff from the tavern. Done. So that's your five. That's all your actions done. You get a new card. Let's uh, check. Oh, I can't see what I have. Your item. It's okay. I'll sort that out in a second. Here we go. Uh, set a trap. Place the chupacabra at any location. So this is perfect for you. You're able to actually do that. We have to use an action to do this, right? Yeah, no, no, the uh, perk cards can be used without uh, using an action. So this is uh, this is perfect. And you can you, you can play as many perk cards as you like. So you could move. Uh, you could use both of these cards in tandem if you wanted to. OK, so, yes, there's a specific aspect to one of the monsters we have in the game here, uh, or you can just move any monster up to three locations. All right. Good evening, Roger. Welcome. Glad you could uh, you could drop by. So let's just sort out 
Sarah, so we can we don't really need to see you up there. You know you've got five actions. That's the important part. Let's. Uh, I'm going to move these cards down here so that I can. Uh, I'll manage them so that you can see your items, and we'll put these into colours. Oh my gosh, you've got like so many knives. You're you're very dangerous. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, right, so... You got yourself your card. So it is a new monster card. Uh, we have two items going out on the board first. Uh, what do we have? We have... A helmet, looks like baseball, at the high school. And a flashlight at the tavern. And our card is Willie the Salesman. Uh, Willie is at the motel. Where's the motel? Hotel Holiday Inn. <laughs> um, his motel, there he is Oh, he's close to the thing uh, Willie wants to jump from the motel to the tavern Okay But we do have Oh, oh no Oh no uh, The Banshee can move two One Two Okay yeah, there's, there's no avoiding it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Willie just walks on out of the motel and suddenly there is this banshee waiting for him. That'll teach him. <laughs> uh, so citizens cannot have any items, thus they are immediately defeated when hit by a monster. Let me just double check on this. So we actually we are still we still have to roll dice and so the dice is two. <laughs> okay, yeah, Willie's definitely dead. <laughs> okay, so Willie has gone. There is no more Willie, and we move the terror track along by one. Uh, ooh, not good. Of course, if this goes all the way to the seventh space, then we lose the game. The uh, Cross Creek is overrun by monsters. Everybody is terrified, and they've all left. Right. So, ooh, our first failure. Uh, it is over to me then. So... So I assume we need to try to move that lady if we can, since it's going to be the Chupacabra's turn, right? <sighs> You're right. Yeah, Ch Chupacabra not, hasn't uh, come up yet, but it would pretty much just eat her straight away. So my special action, I can move any citizen, can't I? And she needs to go to the swimming hole. How can we get to the swimming hole? One, two, three, four. In fact, I could stay where I am and just move her, but I would then... Do it, then you would get an extra thing. I would, wouldn't I? But, mm -hmm. oh, but actually, I, I have got items I could give up, potentially. Okay, let's do it. So, gonna do my special action four times. One, two, three, four. Josie's in the swimming hole. She's happy. I get a card. Let's take a look. Uh, or Josie was just like tiptoeing on this farm, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Uh, Sonic safety, place the Banshee at any location. So we could move the Banshee right now. You could. Where do we want to move the Banshee? Ooh, that's a good, perfect card to turn up. Where are you? You are here in the hospital. What is the furthest location? Probably one of those little camp things, like right above its head. Because then yeah. she'd have to move all the way she's through got, that trail to get one, to us. 
She got to move two to get to that to get to here to get kind of back where she is. This one is one, mm -hmm. two. That's three. If you do the trailhead, it's three to get to here. Right, but you can only move her three spaces. No, it, no, 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 no. The you got to choose one and place the banshee at any location. Or, oh. or move any monster free locations. So this is a, a unique card for the Banshee. This was great, great timing. So I can move it anywhere on the board. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's one of those top ones somewhere. Yeah, let's let's lose that card then, and let's place her at the trailhead. Because I think that's. You know, again, typically movement is two, so that would be one, two to get to here. It's close, but, you know, it's okay. Not too bad. Uh, okay, so there we go. Uh, that was my turn. Wow. Uh, doing a lot, coordinating the town efforts from the sheriff's station. Okay, so we draw up the monster card. There are two items. Wow! We're going to get to double monster action here now in this one. So we got a goat in the town center and a goat at the general store. Does rural America have so many goats in their towns? Can can anybody answer you know, that? On somebody's land, they probably have a lot of goats. You think so? Is it just a I went to a car show and somebody brought a goat. It was a baby goat. I got to hold it. Was it good? Are they good? Are they, uh, is it, are they, you know? Are they like, I mean, they're, they're like lambs, aren't they? Except with horns. Yeah, and people made soap out of the goat milk. Seriously? Okay. I didn't know you could do yeah, that. Yeah, I have it. I bought some. It's really nice. Does it, what, does it smell of goat? No, it smells pretty. Okay. They make it out of goat milk. They don't make it out of goat. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't Stop. know these things. <laughs> uh... Uh, okay. Anyway, let's let's carry on. I know more about games than I do about uh, soap and goats. So, uh, Chupacabra gets to move first. Chupacabra goes one. Goes to that. And basically gets to roll two dice. Now, we haven't done any Chupacabra, have we, before? So, Chupacabra is a voracious creature that consumes everything. Stop it before it feeds again. So, if we get the exclamation mark on rolling the die, discard one brown item from the board per power symbol rolled. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So, two dice. This is where we lose goats. Or horses. Or pigs. But thankfully, not hungry right now. So that's good. Then we go to the Banshee. And Banshee moves one. So our plan worked. But Banshee gets to roll two dice. Uh, again, exclamation. Move all violins one space towards the skeleton. Is she going to play her ghostly music? Thankfully, no exclamations. All good. All right. It is over to you. Mystical's agreeing here that a lot of people keep goats. Okay. You see, this, this channel, entertaining and informative. I think that the goat's name, little baby goat's name was, um, might have been Van Goat. I'm not sure, but they called him Vinny. Oh, it was Vincent Van Goat, but they named him Vinny, I think. Vincent I was trying Van to remember this whole time. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. I'm sorry, I was trying to remember the goat's name. Yeah, I could, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> I was even trying to look it up, see if I could find it in like conversations and stuff. Cause I was like, what was that goat's name? <laughs> I like that, Vincent Van Goat, like it. Okay, so what are you going to do with your five actions? We, we, we need to be on the offensive. We do need to start doing stuff. You've got so many 
uh, things, but there are plenty of things to pick up around here. There's another goat, so you could always pick up a goat. Remember, to defeat both the Banshee and uh, Chupacabra, it, it is brown and or yellow items that we want. The green items are really just your defense. Because you can give up a green item, can't you? Uh, we don't have to have six goats to defeat the Chupacabra, right? Oh, yes. We need to have collected six goats and placed them okay. on this spot. Basically, we're, we're making a trap for him because he obviously wants to eat the goats. Even though it does kind of say, save the goats, I actually do believe that we are making a trap. <laughs> I think some of these goats may get sacrificed. thinking about what to do yeah so, uh... okay one two three four five one two one two three Four, five. Oh, if I went and got that that goat up there. So, what are you thinking? I'm essentially going to be two moves away from any of the monsters. But you've got plenty of items to sacrifice. So I wouldn't say it's too bad. At some point, we need to go on the offensive and actually uh, try and defeat the Banshee. I think she might be the easier of the two monsters. Right. So what I'll do is I'll pick up the blue and I'll go up to that top right goat. So you want to go one, two, one, three, two, three, four. And then four or five and five. pick up the goat will be my fifth. And I'll just wait there for my doom. For your doom. Doom. So you're in the general store. Okay. Because that... essentially, if I get hurt, I just give up my little blue tokens. Exa yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Depending on the number of hits that uh, she manages to get through, if, and if at all she does. Okay. No, that, that sounds like a good idea. So we do the monster card. Oh, there are no... Uh, items going out and this is Banshee of the Badlands Haunted Music on the Banshee monster mat move one violin furthest from the skeleton two spaces towards it so <laughs> oh my goodness uh, it's up to you you can either move your violin or my violin two spaces towards the skeleton to our doom. Who do you want to make closer to their doom, Sarah? <laughs> Strategically, it would not be smart to do that to my own. It would not, would it? I think it's me then, isn't it? So, oh, goodness. Yeah, but I'm doing it with, One, with the best interests for the team in mind. Okay. <laughs> it, it means that when she now does her attack... Oh, no, she's not doing an attack, so that's okay. Phew. We might, might be all right. We've got to deal with this Banshee. We've got to come over and move these violins. Uh, okay, so uh, we do have Chupa. Chupa is going to move one. Now, who is closest? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's me. So let's make Chupa go down here. Okay. And rolling two die. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, nothing, so that's good. Okay. You suck, Chupi! Yes. <laughs> so, 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 so. You're nothing without your goats! <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, I need to... What do I need to do? I need to get up to the Banshee. Because the Banshee is going to be the death of me. Uh, one, two, three, Hmm. Actually, hang on, where, where was I? I was here, wasn't I? One, two, three. I'm going to go there instead. Which kind of makes me equal distance near enough between all of them. Uh, there's no point me moving you, and there's no citizens for me to move. And I can't do any of the other abilities, so that's it. Okay. Uh, right, so monster card. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's another uh, haunted music. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> but it's my turn now, and I get to have the choice as to who is going to hear this deadly music. <laughs> ah, first of all, though, we have two items going out on the board. Oh, well, there you go. What do we have? We have a goat, another goat at the sheriff station. And then we have a wolf in the cemetery. Cool wolf. Uh, I'm afraid, Sarah, I'm going to, uh... So, I'm about to move one violin womp, womp. furthest. Yes, you are the one who's furthest away, so you join me. We could both die but at the I same time. I think I have what it takes to defeat this thing on my turn. Uh... I have two yellows. You have two, yeah, you have the two yellows and you have the brown, so yes, you, you're in, you seem in good good shape to do so. At least uh, trying to push back these violins, that's the most important part. Uh, okay, and so it is... And then we lose all of our goats, don't we? No, there's plenty of goats out, so, but... Okay. Remember, we, we do need six to go on into here, so we kind of want to be sparing, but there's one, two, three, there's three more goats out on the board at the moment. So, right, but then I have the other three, so if I lose any of them, we can't return six. Uh, I, I have a goat in, in, in my in my inventory, so so we should be okay. We'll see, we'll see. But yes, we probably want to be sparing of goats, don't we? Yes. Okay. So uh, what do I need to, to fight her then, to move our violins? You need... So, to defeat the Banshee, an investigator must be at the same location as the Banshee to spend two yellow items. So, it doesn't matter about the strength of the items, just having those two knives, you would defeat her. But, in order to defeat her, you've got to have moved those violins back. And to do that, you can spend a brown item to roll one dice, or spend a yellow item to roll two. And for each hit or power icon, move any player's violin token back two spaces. All right. All right well, I guess we're going to have to do it. So, but anyway, first of all, we've got to just deal with Chupa. Chupa is going to move one, one towards the closest. He's going to come over to me. There, he's going to roll two dice. Uh. That's it, it's okay. We haven't got an exclamation, so that's fine. Done. No more on that. Right, Sarah, your go. Let's go do this. So you're gonna go up to the Banshee. One, yeah. two. So what are you gonna do? Are you going to use a, so hang on, let me just double check. I think actually. But if no. I kill her, you then can't, you, does you, it really matter where? Well, here we go. Hang on. So, spend a brown item to roll one die, which you don't want to do. So, sp spend a yellow item to roll two die. So, you'd have to use your yellow your knives 
to basically push these violins back, but you need the two yellows to kill. But if she gets an attack, we're both dead. Right, so I need to take care of the violins. I think, yes. So maybe it's using a yellow item to be able to roll two dice to start off with. Should we go with that? So if I kill her, though, wouldn't it, it wouldn't matter about the violins, but if I don't kill her, then it would you, matter. Uh, you can't kill her until those violins are all the way back in the safe zone. So you've got to do the violins first, and then you can try uh, and kill her. Okay, then let's do a, a yellow for two rolls. Okay, so yellow goes in the bag. You got two dice. So what you're after is hit some power icons. Move any player's violin back two spaces. All right. Well, there you go. So... That would be four spaces. Oh, yeah. You see, I just started thinking that, and I bet it's not, because that's too easy. So, but that would be yours two back, and then mine two back. Oh, it does say, for each hit or power icon shown, move any player's right. violin back to... Yes, so that's both. That's his two hits. So you could, you that's could move... That's two back for you and two back for me. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so one, two. So they're back there. If you, di if you spent your other yellow and did it again and we got the same result, we'd be both in the safe zone. The downside, though... Ah, but hang on, hang on. No, it's fine. You'd use both of your yellows to achieve that, which means if we're in the safe zone, I could come along, and I've got three yellow items. I could, mm -hmm. I could then kill her. So it's one, two, three, kill. So are you prepared to sacrifice your knife to try and do it again? Sure. Yeah? When yeah, I'll do it. You were here, wasn't you? So you went one, you went two, you've done that for three... So this is now four. Okay. Fingers crossed. So I crossed. moved one and two in there. Yep. And then three, yeah, so this is my fourth turn. Fourth turn, yes. So you've still got one more. Here we go. Oh, yes, excellent. Okay. So we are both in the safe zone for the Banshee. And now, do, can I move or no? You can. You got what? You got one action left. So would it be smart for me to move into the the house up there to get the animal or no? No reason why not. I mean, okay. e either either way, she, you know, you can only move one space, and she's go. Oh, but hang on, remember you. Or got, I can move her towards you. Yes, remember you've got your both of your action cards, so you can move a monster three spaces. But if I move her in with you, then she's going to attack you versus you attack her, correct? True. If she's in with me, then she will stay where she is and she will attack me, yes. But at least, um... Oh, she will still do the violin attack, though. Will she do that? I'm sure she would. Let me just double check. Just double checking here. What? I think we might have been being too hard on ourselves here. Just double check checking. 
So here we go, do the following in order for each monster in the order they appear on the card. So you move the monster to a, a location, then you attack. Attack one character on a monster's location by rolling the number of attack dice. If there is no character on the monster's location, it will not attack. Do not roll dice. So we, whereas we've been doing these attacks for the, uh, the Banshee's Scream and things like that, it only occurs if the monster is actually on our space. And for the most part in this game so far, the monsters have not been on our spaces. So... So give me back my weapons and let me attack her! But... <laughs> you, 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 still, you would still have had to have used the weapons to basically get those violins back to the places. They obviously they already started um, at one they space. They started two off, so then yes. I would still have one you'd have, you'd yellow have, weapon. Yes, which is not enough. Okay, but do I still get my weapon back? <laughs> no, let's let's keep it as is. We'll just uh, we'll just know that the um, that's not how it it plays in that part. So everything's all all, all equal at the moment. Um, yeah, let's. <sighs> I'm sure. I, I... Equal? You didn't lose all your weapons. <laughs> You've got plenty of what? weapons. I'm just no, double, I don't. I, just, I have zero left. I just want to double check on this because <laughs> otherwise, it, it, there's not a, a huge amount of threat because it only happens when you're actually with a monster on the same space. And of course, we've been successfully managing to avoid the monsters, haven't we? Well, just, yeah. So do the following in the order for each monster in the order they appear in the card. Yeah. So move it to the closest investigator. If a monster starts on a location with a character, that monster will not move. Okay, fair enough. So attack one character on the monster's location by rolling the number of attack dice indicated. If there's no character on the monster's location, it will not attack. If multiple characters are on the monster's location, the monster will always choose to attack an investigator rather than a citizen. If the monster has a choice of targets, the active player chooses the target before it's rolled. Attack yeah. wouldn't have gotten either of us. Some monsters have special so if... rules that take effect to so the monster strike. Right, so if we started not in the safe zone, then I would have only had to have spent that one roll because that one roll moved us each two. That's, that is true, yes. So I would get one of my you weapons get, back. You get your one weapon back, yeah. No, let's go with that then. That probably seems the safest. So it was a knife that you had, wasn't it? Have a knife back. From the gas station. Thank there you. you. Go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ah. I, uh, maybe I'm getting... Well, it should be the same as the la as the last game, so maybe we, I got it wrong in the last game as then. Um... So it's only when you are in the location with the monster does it affect. But it kind of then makes it slightly easier. But anyway, okay, that's what it says, so let's uh, let's go with that. Also playing differently than last time, I think. Because we're just trying to run around and avoid it as much as we can, and I don't think last time we did as good of a job avoiding. That's well. That's maybe that's the thing because we are slightly more experienced with the game now. We're finding it easier because we kind of know how to work together on it, whereas previous one felt harder because we didn't. And maybe that's what I'm sort of sensing. Let's let's call it that. Um, but yes, we've we've successfully managed to avoid the monsters. Also, they both started down at the bottom here, didn't they? So we were, we were well away from them right from yeah, the Yeah, they didn't... I think last time they started, like, on either end, so we and we were more, like, in the middle, like, crap, you know, trying to yeah. run away from them, whereas this time we were kind of able to get to the other side of the map before them. Yeah, I think that must be it. Okay, uh, so you managed to roll both of those back. It is... So you've, got, you've basically got one action left, haven't you? It was a matter of deciding where you wanted to be. So you do not want to be on the and space... I think I would have two her. actions left. You would have two actions left. Okay. So go ahead. Where you, what are you going to um, do? I think you, you need to move yourself out of there, so maybe go to the tavern uh, or to the general store.
because remember we're going to pick up a monster card next. Don't want to go save the horse? Well, if you do, the monster's going to potentially move straight into your location and attack you. All right, I'll go to the t t tavern. Tavern, you can move all the way down. So your final two, one, two. There we go, done. So, monster card. Let's see how we do. There's no items going on the board. The monster. Uh. Right, well, thankfully. Oh, no, no, the banshee does move. So the banshee moves one. So, yeah, there is no nobody in that space. There's no attack. The Banshee moves one to you. Oh, no, no. I thought the Chupacabra. Sorry. That's, nope, that's sorry, Chup Chupacabra. Not. Banshee's here. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Okay. Makes it quick. Right. Okay, now your turn. My turn. So I'm going to move one, two... And as long as I'm reading all this all correct. So defeat, ignore the scream. To defeat the Banshee, an investigator must be at the same location as the Banshee and spend two yellow items to ignore her whale. The item strengths do not matter. So if I use a helmet and a pickaxe, because that's a great combination. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Those are the two items. Ignore the scream. So she is defeated. So we have... I'd like to imagine that you threw the hat at her. <laughs> so she is gone. Uh, what was that? That was one. That was two. That was three to do that. Um, and effectively, well, I'll move down. That's four. Okay, and so we get a new monster card. Uh, we have two items going out on the board. What do we have? We have a lantern at the sheriff station. We have a helmet at the stadium. Very confusing. That's an American football, or sorry, a football field, and it's a baseball <laughs> helmet that's going on there. <laughs> it's very confused. <laughs> um, okay. Sports uh, item, you know, sports ball. <laughs> that's it, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we, we've got those. And the Banshee has been defeated. Uh, yeah, we actually don't have a monster to activate. So we get a little bit of a, a respite, which is great. Okay, it's your turn. So effectively, you could, you need to get to this farm. So it's one, two, that's three. You could drop a goat down, that's four. And then you could just stay there and then wait for your next turn and then drop another goat down. Do it. Yeah, so you're gonna go, ooh, one, two, three, drop a goat. That's four. Well, I wanna <laughs> pick up the goat. Oh yes, you could. You could have done that, couldn't you? You could have picked that one up, up as well. That would be yeah, fine. Yeah, I want to pick up the goat. Yes. Yeah. No, that makes 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 sense. Uh, okay, so we've got one goat down there. Uh, right. So it is the monster's turn. Uh, we have two items going down. So we have a torch in the cabin. 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 There it is. And we have a handsaw in the campground. And... So it is I Chupa. I that a handsaw would be in the campgrounds. Oh, absolutely. Chupa is going to go to the city hall. Uh, there's nobody there, so He's nobody... He's got protesting to do! <laughs> <laughs> so, no attacking. So that's fine. Okay. And then it is my turn. Now, let me just double check this because I think I can go through a monster. I just can't end or don't want to end there. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, 
Uh, in fact, actually, if no, you end I've, up I've... having an extra action, would you move me one? Where would, where do you want to go? Um. Well, see that thing below me with the three things and a goat in it. That that takes you to that. That's two. You can't go across to it. You need to go to the town center and. No, back no, no, down. no, no. I'm saying if you just move me one space, yeah. Then on my turn, I can move in there. One, pick up two, move back to the farm. Three, four, drop a goat. Drop a goat. Okay. Uh. All the kids are doing it these days. They are indeed. Drop a goat. Uh, okay, well. I'm gonna go drop a goat. No, it sounds like the snow. <laughs> I, I could I could move you. So you want me to move you one, two into there? That's oh, fine. Oh, I mean, if you want to move me two, that's fine. I was just saying move me one. It, it's you one, two. You're away. You're two away from Tuba. I kind of want to. I've got two left then. Okay. I could go free to the diner. And then I'm one, two. I'm two as well. Then you okay. have another action, don't you? I do, I, I do have another action, but there's nothing worth doing. I can't get anywhere. Uh, so I might just leave it at that. But you don't have to necessarily take all your actions. Do you have any specials that would move the monster? No. No, I, I use those cards. That's what we did different this game. Remember, we didn't use our special actions till like way later in the game That's before. True. That's true. Also, I, were they just moving monsters? Is that what our special actions were before? Because I don't remember. No, I, I can't remember either now. But yes, but I, we I, moved monsters. I think we, we tactics wise, we've done this better than we did the first game. Just because we, we're more experienced with it, aren't we? So that's probably why it's feeling a little easier. Um, which, of course, then means that next time we play, we need to have more monsters or, or harder monsters to face off against. Uh, okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. Draw a monster card. No items going out. Uh, Chuba is actually going to get two turns here. Ah, okay. Oh, boy. So... <sighs> Oh, like what? Well, seems easier the last time, and then. <laughs> well, here we go. It's I'm one two away. You're one two away, and I'm the active player, so I'm going to choose Chuba to come to me. Wait, may... how many um, blue things do you have to sacrifice? Oh well, I, well, I don't. Oh, actually, it I might, do. It yeah, it might make more sense for him to come to you. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's going to move one. All right, he's... I wouldn't have given you the idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to move one, and he's not going to attack. He's then going to move again one, and now he's going to attack. So he's got two dice. Okay, here we go. Uh, he does two hits, so giving up two items. Yep, two of my little top ones there. Yep. So let's just, it doesn't really matter what they are. Back into the bag. They're done. Uh, okay. And that does that. So it is over to you. Your turn. So I'm assuming first turn is pick everything up. Yes, please. Okay. Done. You and got then... A... That's one. Um. So that was one. And then two, three two, into the three. farm. Yeah. Drop a go off four. Or drop a goat. That's basically it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What so, are my what's my specials left? Um well here we go. You've got you've got two of them and you can move Chupa to any location. So you could move Chupa all the way up to the abandoned mine if you wanted to. You could get him out of your hair completely. Cause it would take him forever to work his way around the board again. But then he'd be close to you. Not really, because I'm going to stay down here now. Well, then I'll use one of my leftover things to do that. Yeah, I think you should. So and move. this is how we're playing differently than last. <laughs> yeah. So, boom, Chupa's all the way over there. He suddenly got us the smell of uh, of beef over in the abandoned mine. Uh, yeah, poor Chupa's not going to get a look in now, is he? Uh, okay. 
So he's o over there. So then we draw up a monster card. And <laughs> um, it is the Grease Monkey. Uh, so it is... Where is he? It's Gus. Where's Gus? There's Gus. He is at the gas station. Uh, where's the gas station? There it is. Oh, it's right next to me. And he needs to go to the bait shop. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, all right. And so Chupa moves. Well, first of all, there's three items. Uh, one, two, three. So we have the tavern. There's a tavern. It's over here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Uh, we have the bait shop. Wow, this bait shop's got so much stuff. And the motel. Done. Uh, Gus has been placed out. Uh, Chupa moves one. Comes to the uh, the cabin. There he is. Done. Okay. Uh, that was your turn. So it's now my turn. I am going to go one to grab Gus. Two. Three, and four for that intersection just there. Uh, that looks good to me. Do the monster card. It is Nora at the diner. Uh, again, we need to do three items first off. One, two, three. We got a torch at the swimming hole. We have a walking stick at the resort. And we have a canteen at the diner. Oh, that's convenient, because that's where Norma is, and she wants to go to the farm. And Chupa. Chupa gets to move twice. And Chupa's going to head towards me. One, two. Well, Chupa seems to be getting his movement back. Okay, uh, over to you, Sarah. Let me, uh, drop off a goat. Drop off a goat. Now, you can't. That's that's your first action. You've got four left. You cannot, unfortunately, drop more goats off uh, within this turn. So you're going to have to right. do something else. Um. Or just end it. You've got, f you've got two goats in your inventory. You need one more to uh, get a full... House, but actually, I have one. The nearest goat to you <laughs> um, is over here. No, that's not here. At the sheriff's station. So it might. I don't know. Unless what you could do is one, two, three. You can. I want to go get the lady who wants to go to the farm. Okay. So. Who wants to go to the farm? You've done one. You've got two. Three, four, five. You can get to the diner, yes. Do you want to go up to the diner? Yeah, let's go get her. Okay. So you're there, all set and ready uh, for your next turn. Uh, then you can pick up that canteen. Uh, and you can work your way back down. So you could go one, two, three, four, five. Depends how much things you want to pick up. You might not need to. Okay, uh, so new monster card. Three items out on the board. What we got? We have a goat at the diner. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> we have a, Yay! <laughs> a pig at the town center. And we have a shovel at the town centre. What's that? What's this pig shuffling for? He's shoveling for truffles. Okay. Uh, we have Jimmy at the city hall. Uh, Councilman Jimmy. He wants to go to the mansion. He's there. Oh, Jimmy looks like he could be dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Chupa is going to move one now. There's a choice. He can go and get eat Jimmy, or he can come and try and eat me. So who's he going to go for? I Jimmy! Think it's, uh, no, I think it's me. I think it's me. I vote Jimmy. 
Uh, we can sacrifice Jimmy. Move the monster a number of locations toward the closest character, character, investigator, or citizen, as indicated on the monster card. If a monster moves a location, okay. Technically, so, the character is closer. It might both be one space away, but if you were to take a ruler, <laughs> that character is closer. There is there is a uh, a choice on this, and it does say. Uh, Where does it say? It tells me. There you go. If multiple characters, a monster will always choose to attack an investigator rather than a citizen. Ah, oh, nuts. Yeah, here we go. If there are multiple characters equally close to a monster, the monster moves towards an investigator rather than a citizen. If there are still multiple closest characters, the current player chooses one of them. So, the choice being here is he would come and attack me. So, he's going to come down here. Uh, okay. And uh, he gets just to roll one die. Oh, well, that's okay. We could probably deal with that. <laughs> All right. So we've got to discard his voracious appetite. We've got to discard one brown item from the board. So I would suggest we take this deer and just discard the deer. Because we can afford to lose a deer, but we don't want to lose goats, do we? And does that mean it's in addition to... So, if an investigator may ignore a monster's successful hit... So yeah, he's basically just done the monster's power. So he's not actually attacked me, he's just eaten a deer. Okay, that's cool. I can deal with that. Uh, okay. It is... Was that, was that you, for you or me, that uh, councilman? I moved up there to get the lady at the diner. That's it. So it's now my turn, isn't it? That's yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm moving Gus down to the bait shop. That was the whole point, wasn't it? We get rid of Gus. I can take a card. Uh, let's take a look. We haven't done a card for a while. So Ancestry. Uh, again, it's a move amongst the three locations because this is referring to the Jersey Devil that we don't have in play. That's okay. Uh, so that's one. I can pick up all these items. That's two. And... I guess ultimately, three, four to the town centre. It's, you know, what the heck, eh? Right, so, monster card. Two items going on the board. Uh, what do we have? We have a goat in the stadium. And we have a pocket knife in the general store. Over there. And... General store would sell knives. There's what, sorry? General store would sell knives. They, I always like what I like about these games is that the locations of the items do make sense. So yeah, they have fought through. Apart from goats in sheriff stations, I, d I don't believe that's a thing. But well, who do I know? What do I know? Depends on who gets arrested, and if animal control could come get the goat. Okay, fair enough. Then. I stand corrected. And goats would be in the stadium as. Uh, uh, what are they called? Mas mascots? Yeah, there it is. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> so, in fact, actually, that's some that's guy a, dressed up a as a word. goat. I don't know. It's the Rams. It's the Rams, isn't it? Yes. There we go. I okay. mean, any team. <laughs> a high school is probably more likely. You know, like a little high school team has, like, goats or something. 
<laughs> yeah, they have to grow up to be rams, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Tuba is going to move one. Tuba's definitely moving towards me. There's no, uh, there's no messing about there. Uh, but it's three dice. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, it's two hits. So I am going to use my fishing pole and my poison. Yep, yeah, is that right? Yep, yeah, fishing pole and poison to basically uh, not take those attacks. That's good. Uh, okay, it then goes over to you. All right, so I'm gonna go one, two into the farm. Uh, well, do you wanna pick up these items? Do you wanna pick up the goat and the canteen? Oh yeah. Okay, so you're gonna take those, that's one. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna go two. Oh, you, you're not gonna get into the farm, two. Three, four, five. Gets you to the farm. So, oh, so that's a cho that's the choice. You don't actually need that goat. If you don't if you don't uh, pick up the goat in the canteen, you could afford to place a goat down in this turn. Right then, let's do that. Yeah, let's put that goat in canteen back. But you've got Nora to the farm. So that's right, which good. gets us the card. Gets you a card. But before. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Ah, ah, the downside to it. Okay, no, I think we should stick with that. You can put down one I'm of your safe. goats. If yeah. it comes at me, I'm safe because I got tons of shield things. Yes, it's you've just got one goat, so it's it's I who have the second goat, but I'm right next door, so I can help out. So it make it makes sense uh, for you not to take those to be able to get here to get the card. And yes, you can pretty much take on whatever it does. You've got the two uh, yellow items. I get a special bonus. And you get your bonus. So let's take a look at that. Uh, I think do I have a bonus left right now? Uh, you do, which is move a monster free locations. Exactly the same as this one, because it's not specific to the monster. So you could move Tuba all the way away from you if you wanted to right Heck now. Heck yeah, because that'll save you too. Exactly. So do that, and let's just put him right back. Oh, no, three locations. So what would be the make makes the most sense? Where do you want to move him? Uh, What's one, that thing two, over three. there to the left? In fact, you could you could use both of your cards if you wanted to, because there's no limit to the amount of cards. You yeah, can move. put him back at that mines. Yeah, move, move him six then, yeah? Get so, out of here, Chupacabra. One, two, three, four. Get there you go, five. your stupid goats. <laughs> There you See, go. He's annoying that you can't just kill him. Because then that means that you do have to constantly go back and forth doing, like, the goat thing. Yes. But that's that's the point, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, annoying isn't probably a good thing, or else we would have been way done with this game way earlier. Yes. Yes. It, 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 it's little sort of um, fetch missions, isn't it, uh, like you see in video games. Uh, you've got to go and get this and then bring it back and you've got to go and get that and bring that back And you've got to do it six times and then you can finally uh, defeat him because the defeating part of him is relatively easy uh, It's it's taking these goats and you can only do one goat per turn Okay, uh, so he's moved back you've used up your turn. So basically it's a monster card uh, Oh So three items she has something different. So, three items. We have the baseball bat at the stadium. Finally, we're getting making more sense. Even though the stadium is football. <laughs> uh, There's have... probably more fields. They just couldn't picture it all in the... In, 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 in fairness, there is a running track around the stadium as well, so they, right. they do, they do so seem to do... there's probably a baseball field to the side. Yeah, they do, they do do more. Uh, a wolf is at the cabin. Okay, but what does... Uh, so this is the park ranger, Eleanor. And... Eleanor is at... Place it at the ranger station. Okay, so she's up there, that makes sense. Move the Frenzy Marker to the next monster. Move each citizen one space towards their safe location. Oh, okay, awesome. So Jimmy has to go to the mansion. 
He's going to go Nobody there. Nobody cares about me, let's be honest. And Ellen wants to go to the campground. So she's going to come down by one. And there's no Sorry, other Sorry, Jimmy, nobody's citizens. coming for you. <laughs> but, but Jimmy needs our assistance. He really does. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Chuba gets to move three. Oh! <laughs> oh! Poor Jimmy! <laughs> uh, one, two, three! <laughs> So Ellen is trying to move people around because she's a ranger, she's in control, she can deal with disasters, and she's just moved Jimmy out of the safety of the city hall to the gas station, straight into the path of Tuba. Oh no! <laughs> so it's two dice. Is Jimmy going to die? We can only hope. Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> Jimmy's dead. No, the councilman. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the councilman is dead. Oh, it's all Eleanor's. She's not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Jimmy. Oh, so unfair. So unfair. Okay. Um... So was that, that was whose turn was that? That was your turn, wasn't it? So it's now my turn. Uh, okay, I will move one. I will drop off a goat to at least feel like I've contributed. Two. I will go three to the town centre, and four to pick up a pig. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, and it is Monster's turn. Oh, gosh. Marie the Soda Jerk. Do you have any unused turns left? No, because there's nowhere I need to go to get anything. Never mind. No, you, yeah, you just want to stay where you are, yeah. Uh, where's Marie? Marie, Marie, Marie. Where's... Oh, there she is. And Marie is at the general store. <gasps> oh, Marie! But we need to put out three items first. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? We have the bait shop. Bait shop's got so much stuff. The tavern. Tavern, tavern, tavern. Diner, tavern. So much stuff. Another a revolver in the sheriff's station. Well, that makes sense. Okay. And so... Oh, it's America. The... It would make sense anywhere. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, not saying anything. Moving on. Uh, you don't have to. I just did. Uh, so, so Tuba moves one. So the park ranger, Eleanor, this is going to teach her. <laughs> uh, but he's only rolling one dice. Is Eleanor going to die? Oh, no. No, Eleanor survives. She hides in the diner. In amongst the, um, oh, what did he do in diners? Behind the waffle machines. Uh, pancake, pancake See, machines. I mean, there's, there's seats in there. There's a counter. There's a kitchen. There's yeah, a yeah. box, probably. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I get I get the, I, I, I like the idea. I get the, the, there's a sense of a sort of the 1950s. You're not really going to ever hide behind a waffle maker. <laughs> I'm assuming because it's a um, big waffle maker. What size waffles do you eat, Mikey? Because it's like the size of a plate. <laughs> it's a big industrial waffle maker. They make but still, lots it's of only going to make a waffle the same size as a waffle monkey. They don't make giant waffles and then cut them down. What? What? Why? What? Why not? <laughs> what waffle sizes are you thinking of that a human would be able to hide behind it? <laughs> but no, she's not hiding behind a waffle. She's hiding behind a waffle machine. Hey, but a waffle maker is just a waffle iron monkey. You pour in the dough or the batter, and then you close it, you flip it, and then you open it back up. Even the big fancy ones are still the size of a large serving platter, if that. Oh, okay. Like okay. all components that combine, because you're still making a waffle of the same size as a waffle. 
<laughs> That's fair enough then. I'm uh, fair enough, fair enough. I I just but thought that if you that... see an industrial sized waffle maker, you send me a picture. I, I I will. I will show you an industrial sized waffle maker. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, so oh, so hang on, so that one needs to go. Uh yes, so she's done. Marie's out. Oh, these uh Marie and Eleanor are prone to dying. Uh, because you've still got to put your goat down and then get up there and kill uh, Chuba. So, someone's gonna die. Uh, okay, it is... It's it's your turn, isn't it? Because I placed a goat down. Okay, I'm going to put down a goat. Put down a goat. Okay, so now you are able... What do able... we need to kill him? You need to have uh, yellow items to the value of six, and you have a shovel and a knife, which is a total value of five. However, you could go and meet me, and I can give you another shovel, or I could just give you a, a rifle, which has a value of six. <laughs> so, so you've done one, two, three, four, five. So you could get close, you just can't get to him. But at least you'd be tooled up and be able to, uh... Wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, no, that's a goat. That's not a weapon. I was going to say, I could just pick that up, but one... Yeah, these, these are all two, blue. Two, three, four, that's five. Correct. Yeah, I would land at him. I just couldn't attack him. No, you you got you got to pick up an item from me. So you've already done one because right? you, you put your goat one. down. Now it's two. Oh yeah, that's three, that's where I got. Four. That's where I was losing it. Sorry. So it's either five here or five here. So it's either you go to the tavern or you go to the gas station. Cinematically, you go to the gas Let's station so we can have a big go explosion. Go to the gas station, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this roving reporter, I'm going to give you my rifle. There you go. So you, you're done. Uh, yes, they came to Cross Creek to get. The, the story of a century to, to win the Pulitzer Prize to have proven the existence of uh, Chuba Cuba, Cuba, Chuba You've been Ch doing it right the whole time. Chupacabra. <laughs> Chupacabra, yeah. But uh, I kind of like where you were going with Chupacabana. That was fun. <laughs> I was here for it. Chupacabana. Just feed it, goats. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, so we have a protective vest at the ranger station. I bet Eleanor was positioned she was wearing that now. Uh, the general store has some poison. I do not necessarily want to go there. And we have a goat in the mansion. There's just so many goats. <laughs> um, we, we got the doctor. Dr. Chalice is at the hospital. I wonder hospital. how Jimmy felt knowing that we cared more about saving the goats than him. I know. I know. Oh, yeah. Uh... Now, the doctor, why does the doctor want to go to the stadium? Is because she's a Got massive Rams fan. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Got season tickets, and sometimes you just need to go to the game. So, now, Tuba, Tuba's not going to move, is he? Because there's a, there's a tasty victim. He's just going to roll his dice. Uh, oh, Eleanor's going to die. Oh no, she doesn't! Hey, she survives! She survives! Oh yay, you made it! I mean, we didn't sell your house, what? <laughs> so she's, she's moved behind the pancake machine. Waffle machine, oh. not, as, not that safe. Pancake machine, that's where it's at. Okay. Uh, that would be the griddle, so she hid behind the stove. <laughs> <laughs> so... You've moved there. Now I can go one, two. Oh, I can actually do this, Sarah. I think I think we probably should, Chunter. Kill it. Yeah, I I, I can because because effectively we've both got the same types of weapons. I've got a pistol and a shovel, so I've got a value of eight in yellow. Uh, can I can I make sure? One, two, three, and my fourth action four. Yeah, I I, I could do it on my turn, unless you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. In fact, no, actually, it's fine. 
because there's no there's no rolling of dice. It literally is. You just turn up, and as long as you've got, uh, yeah, okay. It's a team effort. It is. It is. Well, you 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 beat the banshee. Just like the technically, banshee. you helped with the one, goat. One, two, you put one three. down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did five. I got one. <laughs> but the, the the one that was just resistant that didn't want to go into be uh, uh, fodder, uh, and so I put down the eight uh, in the yellow that are required, and uh, yeah, Chuba is dead. There you go. Did it. Yeah. I think it just does then highlight we need to have tougher monsters uh, for us now because we obviously are uh, a bit more experienced at playing and so we need to have a higher level. So let's take a look at some of the other monsters in the game. So as you know, we've taken a look at the Banshee of the Badlands and Chuba Kaba... Coca Cabana. Capabara. <laughs> All right. So I'm instead a... of having a cuppa, you're having a kappa. A kappa. Capabara. Bara. Bara. There's a bear. Roar, but a bear. Ah. Bara. So capabara. Okay. Well, here you go. Let's uh, let's take a look at some of the. Wait. Others. What word are we doing? Capabara is not anything. It's chupacabra. <laughs> you're, just, you're just making words up now. No, I am, because you keep saying it wrong, so now we've created a new monster. No, Chupacabra. So, Cuppa, but with a ch in front. Chupa. Okay. I don't know. Now you've gotten me confused. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So, this is the Ozark Howler. I, so, actually, That's you... That's kind of cute. So, are, are, you, are you familiar with these? See, first of all, I want to know, cryptid, What? What? where does that word come from? What was the history on the word cryptid? And then, are you aware of the Ozark Howler? That looks a little bit like... I don't know. It looks like cryptid. a... Cryptid, let's look it up. It looks like a Tauntaun from Star Wars. Just a bit, a bit more ferocious and a lot more teeth. Cryptid? How's it spelled? Uh, it's up at the top on the report there. Cryptid. What? C R Y. It's crypt with an ID at the end. Mo Mothman, I've heard of. So I'm familiar with the Mothman. Cryptids are animals that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the wild, but are not believed to exist by mainstream science. Well, that didn't tell us anything. Let's so, see here. so, so it, it is, of course. We'll, we'll get to the uh, the. Most famous oh, so it one. would be like Sasquatch or Loch Ness yes. Monster, or it's just an animal that, yeah. So, Jersey Devil. That looks like a sports mascot, for sure. I'm familiar with that one. And then, of course, I suppose the most famous out of all of them here is Bigfoot. Sasquatch, as you say. And what's cool with this is what you have to do is uh, take photographs and you basically have little pieces of the puzzle for the photo to actually make a photo of Bigfoot, which is great. So the the vanquishing uh, elements are you know specific to the actual monsters, which is very cool. Do you want to take a look at some of the miniatures then? Sure. In fact, we should we should take a look at the ones that we have just been... The game has, like, just nice quality look overall. Like, even with the, um, like, the little bag that holds the pieces, but then, like, our cards looking like they came out of a notebook and stuff oh, like yes. that. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's, it's very, very nice. And, I mean, again, the, the difference between this version and the uh, horrified Universal Monsters, uh, this is all in full colour. I guess the other one was in black and white on purpose because of the nature of the, you know, the silver screen. Uh, and the mm -hmm. timing of those. But this has got that, as I say, it's that 1950s, uh, I suppose, sort of aesthetic to it, which I think is quite cool. I, I really like it. But these miniatures, they're about a, I guess they're a, a 40 millimeter sort of size. They would actually be good fun to, to paint up. There's a, a good amount of detail in there to enjoy. So this is the Banshee. We've, I like uh, that they come in the different colors and don't just have like a colored base ring to give them. 
Yes, so they are instantly recognizable if you don't paint them. Uh, so there's Chupacabra. Great big tongue. Okay, let's see if I can get these correct. So here is the Ozark Howler. That's quite cool. Uh, then we had, what do we have next? We have Mothman. That's pretty cute. That's good, isn't it? You have a lot of fun with doing the wings. Uh, then we had the Jersey Devil. Finally, uh, Bigfoot. The man, the myth, the legend, it's <laughs> Bigfoot! Comes walking out, waving at everybody. There you go, isn't that cool? So yeah, that, these are, are good fun, I, I like them. And I, I, I really like the game. Uh, he very much looks like Harry in the Henderson's big. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yes, yes. Uh, no, it's, this is a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, again, you know, you can alter the difficulty. So uh, I think next time we play, we probably want to do slightly more advanced monsters and maybe throw in an extra monster so we have to deal with three of them on the go at the same time. And I think that would actually make it uh, a slightly more challenging for us because we have certainly learnt from our first play on how to work better as a, a team. Uh, so yeah, I think we just yeah, need we to knew this up the time stakes. going into it that we could use each other for help. Yes. We knew that, you know, all right, so if we get the chance to move a monster, do it early. Don't save your little special cards. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I've always been able to move um, Chupacabra all the way over to this abandoned mine. That worked out really nice. And then also reading the instructions on how the Banshee actually works, that was also helpful. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but... I'm not saying it in like in a rude way against you. No, I'm just no, saying no, it was helpful it. that we misunderstood and that we figured that out. Well, you know, the, the way I look at it is that we play these games just like anybody else might do. <laughs> so if I make a mistake, I'm sure there's plenty of other people who've done the same. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I thought that what we were doing actually felt as if there was a certain level more of tension to the game. Uh, but again, the flip side to that is maybe we are just playing it better. Uh, and so we hence need to increase the amount of monsters and increase the difficulty of the monsters. And that's why it felt a bit too easy uh, when we wasn't doing it. But, you know, play and learn, I guess, as, uh, as things go on. Awesome. Well, there we go then. So that was uh, Horrified American Monsters. A lot of fun. Enjoyed that. Thank you so much for playing, Sarah. Thank you for having me to play. These games are fun. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, I guess we will uh, we will see you uh, next time, which will be Monday next week for something uh, a little bit different, a little bit special. Um, we'll there definitely will be a tease for it Special on Sunday. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's going to go fine. It's going to go absolutely fine. Um, so yes, if you are interested in a different type of game, then do join us on the channel on Monday next week from seven o'clock uh, GMT. Uh, Okay, but uh, for now, then, I guess uh, we'll see you next time, sir. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, and so our thanks for to Sarah for playing tonight's game of Horrified American Monsters from Ravensburger. A lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Learned uh, how, all about different... 
uh, monsters in America. Still can't say their names correctly, but you know, some things never change. Uh, have a wonderful week and look forward to seeing you next Monday night for a special game. Do come and join us for that. But until then, bye for now. <laughs>